is Henrietta Onwebuzier. I lead sessions in entrepreneurship on the executive and MBA programs at Lagos Business School. People are surprised that I drove this program on management of infectious diseases because at the business school that's obviously not our purview. However, LBS has a very strong concern for society and tries to push this very strongly through both staff as well as participants. So when I mentioned the idea of this training to the Dean, it was very easy. It wasn't surprising that it was easy for her to accept that we play host to this event. The idea of this program was triggered out of concern for what was happening during the Ebola epidemic. Hospitals were sending home patients who presented symptoms. They would check people's temperature at the gate and if it was high, they would send them home. Even though I wasn't a doctor, I understood that this spelled disaster for the rest of the population because if indeed those who were being sent home were infected, they wouldn't go to live under the tree. They would go back home, infect their households who would in turn go out and infect others. So it was like watching a tsunami waiting to happen and everybody was staring and waiting for the government to take care of everything. Let me say that um, uh, we in Lagos State fully supported this program for one major reason. We learned a lesson from the Ebola outbreak. And the big lesson is that it's an opportunity for us to look seriously into our healthcare system. So this program, Training of Trainers on Infectious Diseases Management, is actually meant to train trainers who would in turn go out to train more health workers so that in all our healthcare institutions all over Nigeria, we will have knowledgeable health workers who can identify as well as effectively treat infectious diseases in patients and therefore curb the spread. The participants of this training were told to go forth and sing. Screen individuals, isolate them and notify. The idea is that if you come across somebody who may have suspected Ebola virus disease, the most important thing for you to do at that time is to ensure that you have taken the right, the right history without touching, isolated the individual and then gone on to notify SIN, the authorities. And the expectation is that because we have all prepared adequately and we all know what our various roles should be wherever it is that we are, that we'll be able to curb this and any other epidemic, stop it in its tracks. The training ended on Thursday and the very next day, Friday, we had a consultative forum to discuss next steps to ensure that the training is actually disseminated in a structured way. One of the things I'm most satisfied with from these set of courses is that various associations within Nigeria have finally met each other for the first time. We were able to bring together the presidents of the African Biological Safety Association and the Nigerian Biosafety Association to meet for the first time representatives of the Nigerian Infection Control Association. And we believe that those leaders will work together to develop a cohesive, comprehensive curriculum. I think at time, has come for us in Africa to increase health literacy. The expectation is that everybody who is involved in healthcare provision, including people who provide home care, know what to do should they be faced with an infection outbreak, and especially what to do if they're faced with an Ebola virus disease outbreak. The WHO has issued guidelines. We brought the personal protective equipment that the WHO recommended. Two people are going to practice donning and doffing. I think I found that these groups were extremely engaged and very passionate. It's a mixed bag of healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, lab people, and some hospital administrators. And I think it's important that we have all the groups of people private sector, public sector, and from the questions and the response, it's very clear that they will, that they are passionate about what we do and they have understood that really it's not just about doing a job, it's actually about our survival. The training has been very rewarding. Rewarding in terms of 
the wealth of knowledge that has been passed on, rewarding us in terms of uh, the motivation which is given me. And um, it has been put across in such a way that one sees the practicability of several of the suggestions and information they've given us and some of the challenges I've had to face over the years. With this training, I now see ways in which one will be able to get up over those challenges and uh, not only implement changes in my institution, being able to convince the administrators, the managers of the institution, but also step down training to fellow healthcare workers who really become victims of the transmission, the secondary transmission of several of the infectious diseases we have talked about today. It's been really, really, really interesting. I think it's a, it's a very interesting, you know, training. They brought other people from different states and it's very cultural, very, you know, different information that was taught, you know, different people having their own opinions. So I feel like it's very diverse. So at the end of the day, I think I've really, you know, gained a lot. Quite successful, we were able to attract close to 150 healthcare professionals from all over Nigeria, and we've also been able to get the endorsement of the regulatory authorities in the health sector who have now allocated 10 continuing medical examination points. Now, for doctors who need this examination to keep their licenses valid, this is a strong incentive to ensure that those who didn't attend this training eagerly look forward to getting it. And that in turn will ensure that we have more healthcare workers in all healthcare institutions in Nigeria who are knowledgeable enough to identify infectious diseases, treat and thereby curb the spread and prevent future epidemics.